smelling great on a budget. Who doesn't enjoy that? That's definitely my forte. It's how my fragrance journey really took off and how I started to build my collection. And in this video, I've got 10 more fragrances that are cheap, but don't really smell that cheap. I want to talk to you about them. Stay tuned. So before we jump into this too far, since I got this camcorder, it did come bundled with this Vivitar microphone that's been given a lot of uh, audio feedback that kind of is kind of clippy in the background and a lot of you have let me know. So I did order a, a much nicer microphone that will be here in a few days. So I'm using the onboard microphone instead of that microphone that came bundled with it. So if the audio is a little bit different, that's why, but in two days, two more videos from now, should see a massive improvement in audio. So let's get into the video. So starting with this first one, it's been popping up at rack stores. I had more and more people tell me they've been finding it for $20. And uh, I'm glad because it's one that doesn't really get any love. That's actually quite a decent fragrance. I'm talking about from True Religion. This is True Religion Drifter. This is very fruity, sweet, not mold breaking or anything like that, but definitely a very pleasant, cheap fragrance. Used to not be so cheap during True Religion's heyday. I mean, True Religion's still around, True Religion jeans and all that, uh, but they pop up at rack stores more. Marshall's places like that, you can find the clothing, and now the fragrances are starting to pop up as well. And dare I say Drifter's better than the original because it's got that fruity sweetness up top. It's, uh, I forgot what I would compare it to. It's been a little while since I smelled trying to remember I was having a conversation with somebody the other day about it there's it's similar to a certain fragrance I just can't remember which one performance isn't anything spectacular about a five hour fragrance five to six hours right in that average range but they're popping up for 20 bucks it doesn't smell like everything else that's going to be in your collection absolutely worth checking out doesn't smell overly synthetic uh, not a you know a natural fragrance by any means for, but for a designer especially one that you could pick up for twenty dollars at a rack store actually doesn't smell like a $20 fragrance. One that you should check out if you come across it because it's not your typical blue fragrance, typical freshy, or anything like that. Check it out if you come across it. It's True Religion, Drifter. This next fragrance was kind of the star of the show in my two different smell and rate videos that I did one with Curly Scents and Stay Fresh Productions, which I'll put right here. And then the other one I'll card afterwards, which was with Grace, Justin's girlfriend, and Anthony, Andrea's boyfriend from those same two channels. This popped up in both. All four of them loved this fragrance and gave it glaring ratings. I'm talking about First Instinct Blue from Abercrombie and Fitch. Now, performance, nothing special. That's definitely the weakness of this fragrance. Three hour to four hour fragrance and four hours is pushing it. That's spraying your clothes and everything. But the scent, Fresh, crisp, green. There's a lot of rosemary in here. Fresh, spicy, shower gel type of scent. Very loud in the first hour. Then it starts to sit pretty close to the skin. But for the 20 bucks you'll pay for a 50 ml, 25 bucks for a 100 ml like this, it's actually a very nice scent. Synthetic, yes, but not overly synthetic. Less synthetic than some of the other fragrances in its own line. But it smells fantastic. I mean, for those of you that saw the smell and rate with Andrea, she was saying this smells like something your boss would wear and all this. We had a real good laugh because I said apparently your boss works at the mall. He's wearing Abercrombie and Fitch, but don't knock this one until you try it. It's definitely my favorite gym fragrance. I've been, I'm on my second one ounce bottle that I keep in my gym bag. And then of course I have my big bottle that has decent little dent in it because I use my small bottles more. But uh, don't knock it until you try it. Definitely one of the cheaper blue fragrances out there. It doesn't smell like such a cheap blue fragrance. It has a bit more of a quality smell to it for what it is, really and truly. Definitely one worth checking out. Abercrombie & Fitch First Instinct. This is the blue flanker. So right now I'm actually wearing the newest fragrance from Authenticity Perfumes known as Fresh Boss. So the jury's still out on just how good I think it is, but I definitely like it. And it's definitely going to be in the top tier of what I think of the house for sure 
But that's actually not the fragrance I want to highlight here because until otherwise stated, Summer Vibes is still my favorite fragrance from Authenticity Perfumes. It's the reformulated version. The original was just too light. This one's got a lot more density. Super fresh and aromatic. Mega, mega citrus. And there's even a cannabis note that adds a little bit of an herbaceousness in the dry down. A lot of woods and stuff like that. Soapy, clean, super mega citrus. Inviting compliment magnet. You're going to like this one. You're going to love the way you smell. It's under $40 before the 10% off coupon code that's with that link down below in the description. This is a must try in my opinion. You can get a sample of it. You can get a discovery set and try all the fragrances from the house or under 40 bucks. I'll say with, with the discount right around $30, we'll get you this two ounce bottle. And this is the one to own. If you're only gonna get one from Authenticity Perfumes, this is my opinion, of course, this is the one to own. Those of you that have been watching me for a little while, you've seen me bring this one up quite a bit lately because I'm really digging this one. Definitely my favorite from Authenticity Perfumes. Not the run of the mill freshy, not a blue fragrance. Does what it does and does it very, very well. Unique smell for being a super fresh fragrance, which is kind of hard to do these days. Must try in my opinion. Doesn't smell cheap, 50% oil concentration. It is a beast. And it's one I suggest you give a shot. That's Summer Vibes from Authenticity Perfumes. Next, this definitely does not smell like a $20 fragrance. And $20, $22 is what you're going to pay for it. It's super, super creamy, aromatic, and woody. It's Sculpture Pour Homme from Nikos Parfums. I did pick this up from Kingdom Fragrances, which as a lot of you know is always linked in my descriptions. This stuff's good. Man, this stuff is good. It's essentially Montal Wood and Spices on a budget. Does it perform on that level? No, absolutely not. And it doesn't have the same level of quality, but for a fraction of the cost, this is definitely a cheap fragrance that smells expensive. Does not smell like a $20 fragrance. This is a steal. This is a bargain. Three to five hours. If you got drier skin, you probably only get about three hours, but I definitely get in that five hour range in longevity, which is about average, and it is pretty heavy on projection in that first hour to hour and a half. It can really grab someone's attention. It doesn't smell like everything else. If you like creamy, slightly powdery fragrances, you're bound to like this one. It has a freshness up top, but still has a bit of character because it's so creamy and powdery. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance that's understated and underrated. It gets love from time to time. You'll see it pop up here on YouTube and in posts on social media, but not near enough love for this one as it deserves in my opinion because it's a damn good fragrance. It is the epitome of a cheap fragrance that smells expensive. Definitely check this one out. I'm not sure if Kingdom Fragrances currently has them in stock. I would check them first because it's right around 20 bucks for this 100 ml and it's a must try in my opinion. A much lesser known house. One of my favorites actually. Jay does really, really good work uh, and this is definitely my favorite from them with 623 and glass quartz. Being a close second and third, I'm not really sure which one's second, which one's third. But Mill Avenue, the newest release from Icon de Parfum. It's a watermelon bomb, super fruity sweet blue fragrance. And you know I love my blue fragrances. <sighs> Man, it is, it, look, it doesn't smell like all the other blue fragrances. And like I said, if you like a watermelon note, and not a super synthetic one either. Definitely decent quality on the oils here that Jay used. And for taking a stock bottle and kind of making it your own, Jay's the king of that with the print of the Icon Eye logo, Mill Avenue printed on the back so you can see it through the bottle going with the copper color instead of the standard gold, silver, or black. So like I said, that's adding your own little flair to a stock setup. So I like that about, about Jay. Jay does really good work. I'll have a link below. If you want to check out Icon de Parfum, this is a must. another one that's a must try. They offer discovery sets so you can try everything from the house. I will warn you, you're going to like this. You're going to like 623. You're going to like Glass Quartz. It's hard to decide a favorite. This one edges out the others with, I'm not really sure who's number two, with Glass Quartz and 623. Really good stuff from a lesser known, pretty much unknown house that de deserves some attention from you guys. You're not going to spend a lot of money. They're originals and they perform. And most importantly, they don't smell cheap, but they 
are cheap. Another one that's a cheap fragrance that smells expensive. It's worth checking out. That's Mill Avenue from Icon de Parfum. I gotta say, this one wowed me from the very first spray and continues to every time I spray it, every time I've worn it so far. I'm talking about Diesel. Only the Brave Tattoo. Fruity, super sweet. Reminds me of the One Million style of sweetness, but doesn't quite smell like One Million. There's some tobacco that's kind of mild and in the background of the dry down. Doesn't really come to the forefront, but man, it's warm. It's a little spicy and it's very sweet and fruity, but not overly sweet, not overly synthetic either, like you may think it is, because the original Only the Brave definitely leans, definitely leans more to the synthetic side, whereas this one's actually, I think, a little bit better than that one. And I, I've, I've really dug all three of the Only the Brave fragrances that I've tried, and I think this is edged out as my favorite, and that's why I wanted to feature this one specifically. And it's a beast. It performs very, very well. This is an eight-hour fragrance, which once you clip into that eight-hour longevity territory for me, that's getting into the beast mode. That's the beginning of the beast mode territory, in my opinion, for the way I rank and rate things. And then it's quite loud as well. Not room filling, but definitely beyond arm's length for about two hours, which that also classifies into those early stages of beast mode. And this is in the low 30s. We'll get you a 75 ml. Full presentation, discounters online. One that nobody talks about. I don't really see anybody talking about this one much. Um, I did get my hands on a tester, which I want to say, if I can get it to focus. I want to say I spent like $32 on, yeah, there we go. So it's got the little tester, but it isn't a full, you know, a box presentation that uh, does not look like a tester box. Uh, I have it over there. Otherwise, I'd show it to you guys. But one that's worth checking out. Definitely another one that fits this video style and topic very well because it's definitely a cheaper fragrance that smells much more expensive than what you're going to pay for it. Not overly sweet to where I would say it's too youthful and playful. I would think any age can wear this one as long as you like sweet fragrances. And you're definitely going to get the performance you would expect. Performance above the price point for sure. That's Diesel Only the Brave. This is the Tattoo Flanker. So Marimetta Fragrances only has two fragrances out, but both of them are really good. Moha, and then there's this beautiful lemon bar scent of La Lava. This is a must try in my opinion. I hate when it doesn't focus, but La Lava. Very simplistic note breakdown. Lemon, vanilla. Ah, oh, gotta spray a bunch. Lemon, lavender, and vanilla. Lemon, leather, and vanilla. I'm sorry, I don't know why I said lavender. Lemon, leather, and vanilla. La Lava. It smells like lemon bars. I've said it from the start. It's a beast. It's one that you can get in, you know, decent sized decants like this. You can get 50 ml bottles. They perform, they're unique, and the quality is definitely there. This is definitely in that cheapy price bracket and doesn't smell cheap. It's floating in the air. That's why I sprayed a few sprays because I love smelling this fragrance. It's like lemon bars you're gonna like this one the leather's not real dominant to me it's very soft and in the background it's a lot of lemon and vanilla <sighs> so good so good check out marimetta fragrances they're doing really good work over there it's artisan small batch handmade with decent oils is it the highest quality out there no but it's definitely not synthetic oils and they perform and they're unique that's some of the most important aspects what makes a good fragrance these days. This is definitely what I would consider a really, really good fragrance. Again, this is Lila Va, Lemon Leather and Vanilla from Marimetta Fragrances. So I just talked about this one the other day. There are a bunch of loose $13 bottles out there. If you like creamy, powdery, sandalwood, citrus type of fragrances, you're bound to like English Laundry Riviera. Now, this is one of those older style bottles that came in the full presentation that performs a little bit better than these loose bottles. Man, but the scent quality is still there. Not overly synthetic, very pleasing, very relaxing, laid back type of scent. Works well for a work day, but at the same time, it's a great t-shirt fragrance. That's the video it was featured in recently. I'm wearing a v-neck today. Uh, fits what I'm wearing right now, actually. Damn good underrated English Laundry had some hype a few years ago 
uh, where they were out all over at the rack stores and now the loose bottles are still all over at the rack stores and have they stepped back in performance? Yes, but they still smell really good and you're only going to spend $13. Even if you're only getting three or four hours of performance, $13. They definitely still punch above their price point. They are cheap fragrances that smell much more expensive than $12.99 plus tax. Don't hesitate to check them out. They're loose bottles. You can pull the cap off, spray it on your skin, walk around Marshall, spend a little time with it, and make your decision. But more times than not, you're going to be willing to spend the $13 because it's pretty hard to beat for the price point. It's English Laundry. This is Riviera. This one kind of takes Versace Mano Fresh and makes it a little bit better because of that bamboo note, in my opinion. Not a strong performer, but a fantastic scent nonetheless. We're talking about Mont Blanc. This is the recently discontinued Star Walker. You can get 50 mLs at the rack stores for around 20 bucks. 75 mLs in the mid-20s I've been seeing online. They're still abundant. It's still easy to get your hands on them. They just smell really good. It's a relaxing, nice, casual fragrance. Like I said, nothing special in performance, but it doesn't smell like a $20 fragrance to me. It smells more like a $40, $50 designer fragrance, which retail range, it's a little bit above that, but it definitely smells right up there with Versace Mano Fresh, which even from discounters for a 50 ml like this is gonna be in the high 30s. It punches above its price point. Now I'm not saying it smells like some niche fragrance because it absolutely doesn't touch that level of quality, but for the $20 you're gonna spend, it doesn't smell like a $20 fragrance. You could do a lot worse on $20 with a fragrance than you can do on Mont Blanc Star Walker. I've been talking about this one a bit more because I believe more people need to go out and grab it. It got put to the side by so many for so long. I think that's part of why it's gotten discontinued even though it's been around for so long. I think it's hard to beat for the money. Definitely a cheap fragrance that smells a bit more expensive than what you're gonna pay for it. Again, that's Mont Blanc. This is the recently discontinued Star Walker. Last but not least, another favorite, a personal favorite of mine that definitely smells more than what you're gonna pay for it. This is Sean John 3AM because you can get them for around 13 bucks. I paid 13 bucks for this unboxed 50 ml a while back. I paid $13 for a sealed 100 milliliter bottle at Burlington not long ago. I love this one. It's so good. It's relatively unique. It's a fig fragrance, which not everybody's a big fan of fig, or not everybody's even tried a fig fragrance. The vast majority haven't even tried a fig-dominated fragrance. This is beautiful. It's super underrated, and I gotta spray it one more time. This is just, it's irrelevant for how it smells, but it's still cool. This beautiful atomizer, pressure sensitive, Dior quality. Some will even, I've even had some argue in the comment section before that this is a better atomizer than Dior. That's saying a lot, I don't know if I'd go that far, but I'd say they're on par with one another, but for $13, man, you can't go wrong here. Is everybody gonna like it? No. Is there a high chance you will for what you're gonna pay? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, when you smell this, more than likely you're not gonna think $13 fragrance. Are you gonna think $100 fragrance? No, probably not. But it definitely smells a lot more expensive than what you're gonna pay. This is cheapy gold. This is underrated and underappreciated. I talk about it a good bit here on this channel because it deserves the praise. Great out the shower, great casual fragrance, great work fragrance, great on a very hot day because it's very refreshing. A little bit of fig in your life. With Sean John, 3 a.m. Well guys, that's my 10 picks for today. And until next time, do me a real quick favor, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. So I do appreciate all the feedback and I love hearing from you guys. How many of these do you have already? How many of these have you been itching to try? Let me know down below. Have any of these piqued your interest? A lot of these are popping up at the rack stores. Some of these you have to order strictly online, but they are all cheap fragrances that smell much more expensive than what you're gonna pay for them. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of these, you give them a spray now, pretty confident you'll thank me later. Have a good one, guys.